Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Arlene Schiffer from MJ's Handmaids, a co-owner of MJ's Blues and Dance Club, a virtual venue inside a really cool program called SecondLife.com. Go check it out. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make some really nice peace signs. Um, I make them usually with a blue stone because blue represents peace on the peace sign of course we all know what that is but you can put any type of embellishment in them that you want any type of stone I have uh, uh, blues opals this blue is a tanzanite I have some with sapphire um, but yeah absolutely gorgeous and today I'm going to show you how to make them but take about an hour um, when you get this down maybe less but uh, we won't the video won't be an hour so bear with me um, and we'll get through this so, put these away I'll show you what I'm going to be using for this we have of course cleaning cloths to clean our wire and then our piece afterwards I've got pretty cheesy ones going on they've been used the uh, tools um, if, you, if you're going to need a file which 90% of the time you won't but if you cut short you might want to file the end so it doesn't poke or scratch um, if you can't tuck the uh, end piece in so I'm going to keep my file handy I'm going to use possibly uh, round nosed pliers of course cutting wire cutters this is a, a bail maker or a, a, a jump ring maker. Um, they're bail makers, cut and dry. You look up bail maker, this is what you're going to find. So I'm going to be using this. Of course, flat, flat, and a ring mandrel um, to help shape the uh, the piece sign for your circle and the stones. They're approximately, I'm using um, uh, three and a half, four millimeters. They're uh, opals and tangentites. They're naturally cut in, um, or naturally free form and tumbled. But uh, so they're three and a half to four millimeter in size, not perfect, but that's okay too. And little piece that I make from when I make a, a necklace for them. The amount of wire for these pieces it's a little bit overkill for the tutorial um, but you might want to do a little extra anyways because we're going to use an 18 gauge wire 18 not sure if you can see that I've got 18 and I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna use a 26 watt wrapper I usually use a 24 but I'm running or a 28 but I'm running super low so I've got to save that for a couple of other projects in the meantime I'm gonna get this started I'm gonna clean up my area for some room and I'll be right with you I'm gonna um, we've got some different weaves you can use um, any type of weaving these, this is a really nice neat weave front and back they're really really nice so if you were to do this weave and you shape it and you end up going um, decorating the opposite side the wrong side you're not gonna have a problem <laughs> because it's the same on either side so these are really cool weaves it's a, a 2 2 weave only this is on three wires so it's a 2 3 weave um, two wraps around two wires and uh, but you'll see it's not the one that I'm gonna do but it's a really nice weave um, look it up uh, two two weaves you'll find all kinds of different weaving patterns and techniques with just those just that lookup phrase two two this is the one I'm gonna show you it, it's a very neat cool looking weave um, I call it the uh, I don't know what they call it but I really like it a lot um, I've been doing this style for years as well as the crisscross and one that's I, I've always called a ladder because that's what it looks like but um, 
they're just really really nice leaves the back not so much it's got its uh, separations you see but the front is uh, very unique very neat looking and um, goes very well with the peace signs and then there's yeah, this is the same kind only what I have in them I have a single wrap between the top two wraps to give it a bit of a flare um, you see it really well once it gets oxidized you see how nicely they come out once they're oxidized uh, some people don't like this though so be beware you know always ask make two pieces identical um, oxidize one and leave the other one plain and give it let your customers choose what they want it's their piece after all once they buy it so but that's what uh, your choice is and we're going to do this one it's uh, it's a quick easy wrap and it really looks nice first thing we're going to do is we need our wires now these are pre-cut to 8 inches um, I almost want to do 10 inches for the video but we'll, we'll stick with the 8 um, actually I'm going to cut 10 so I'll put these aside for another one. I also have six inches because I can get around that. So I'm going to do ten for the video. It's a good idea when you want to straighten your wire out. Use a cleaning cloth. That way you can clean it at the same time. We're going to go about ten. I don't know where that came from. Rosie. Right That's approximately ten. Yeah, I just bent it. for straightening Boop. Um, these need new jaws which I have a pair somewhere in one of my boxes but they're good for straightening um, working out certain kinks and yeah, pretty much that's it Boop. I know I was off camera you don't need to see anybody straightening their wire although it probably would be helpful with some people Finger straightening works just as well, sometimes better. And there we have three pieces, approximately uniformly, 10 inches each. <laughs> No science involved with that one, huh? For wrapping, normally, like I said, I use a 28 gauge, but I'm really low on that. And um, using 28 gauge, you're going to be doing a lot of wrapping. With this particular design, we're going to be doing 25 rotations of the wrap, which is half the amount of using a 28 gauge. And that's pretty, with the way my fingers hurt these days I'm happy with my 26 gonna use about maybe four or five feet of it which is probably too much uh, an arm's length for me is probably not long enough <laughs> where's my hook how I trap my wire so it doesn't unravel on me I 
I'm going to say this is between four and five feet long. I'm going to say, well, it could be as big as me. It's about five feet. Most of the time I work off to spool. Um, that way I don't waste any wire. And I don't have little pieces all over the place. But uh, again, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do this. Okay, so we're going to take our wire. I'm going to find... I would start at the end and then just slide it up. Wrap three times. Leave yourself a bit of a tail because you're going to want more. And I didn't leave myself much of a tail. So I'm going to wrap two more times to give me a five wrap. Add wire. And I said we're going to do this one. <laughs> this one got five single five single wraps in between each coil and then two wraps together two wires on the bottom and then two wraps to capture the wire on the top the middle piece is always captured by the top and the bottom so you'll see so we add our wire like so Wrap two times. One, two. Bring your wire through the middle. Add your other wire. Try not to stab yourself. And two. One, through the middle wire again. And two. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to leave myself about two and a half inches here. And that way I have enough for the bail and um, finishing the bottom part. So about two and a half inches right there. So you got the five here. And then you're going to wrap two and two. And then you bring it back. One. And two. I'll do this a few more times. Don't forget you want to squish together. Like so. And now five wraps around your bottom, five single wraps, that's one, two, three, four, whoopsie daisy, can't have that. Four and five. Squish together. You want to try and collapse or uh, compress them as tight as you can. And now the two two again. Your single wrapping wire going over the bottom two wires two times. One, two. Bring it through the bottom and the middle wire. Bring your wrapping wire through and then gather the next two the middle wire and the top wire. Two wraps. One, two, and then bring it all the way down to the back on the bottom and wrap your bottom two wires again, the center and the bottom wire twice again. Two, one, two, 
three, four. Now I just mess up my count. Five. Squish. Maybe. I really can't see today. That would be considered two rotations. One, two. We want 25 of these. So we need to make 23 more. I will do that off camera. Let me do one more for you. Wrap the bottom two wires or the center wire and bottom wire two times. One, two. Bring it through your wrapping wire through the bottom wire and the center wire. Bring it up over into the back of your top wire and center wire. Back through the center in between the bottom and center bring it back over the top and the center and then your wire goes all the way down to the bottom and back over the center and bottom wire two times and then five wraps around the bottom wire And that would be considered three rotations. And don't forget, try and get them together as, as tight as possible. Um, if you're not going to weave them that tight, you got to squish them together. So now we got to do another 22 of these. And we'll start to form our circle. Okay, I didn't do 25. I did 20, and that's going to be about four inches long. Um, with the with the 26 gauge, I didn't have to do 25, so 20 was good. And we have approximately four inches in length of the weave. You see that? I hope. And that's that. Don't cut your weaving wire. Leave it attached. You should have about a foot, maybe more left. Um, and now we're going to start to shape. We're going to shape it so that the little points are going to be on the outside of your design. So we're going to start it like so. Now a lot of times, most of the time I will use a mandrel. But um, I kind of like also the puppy look. Give it a little 3D poof to it. And to get that really, really well, take your wrap. And go around a mandrel, like so. Gives me a puff when you bend it into shape where you want it, you kind of got a bit of a puff going on. Almost a 3D look, kind of neat. Um, you can flatten it out if you want to. I'm doing this to make sure everything is going to be when uh, because these here when you use a mandrel for a ring or something like this I want everything to be round and connect together so make sure your end pieces are just as round as everything else and the best way to do that is just to over round them just overdo it boink 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 I think you get the idea. Now for this, I'm going to take my weaving wire and get it out of the way. Flat nose. You 
bottom wire. Bring it straight out. And then the top one goes straight up. If you can get it. Like so. Top one up on the your other wires. This is going to be the bail. And then this one we want to go outward. So I'm going to have to I think I'd much rather do it. and straight. This is going to be the part that we leave for the piece the center. This part here. I want to bend these all the way straight down. problem right there. Centerpiece, sort of. <laughs> With this wire, your wrapping wire, you can start to weave your centerpiece. You want to go approximately two-thirds of the way down. You can stop halfway if you want to. And you can do whatever kind of weave you'd like to with this. I am going to... Hmm, I haven't decided. There was one I really... This is that ladder weave. You see how cool this is? Check this out. Um, I might do that. I think I will as it's quite cool looking and it works well with this design it's gonna go around I'm gonna do three 
nice and tight around one base wire. Three single wraps. One, two, make them nice and tight. Three, and together. And then this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a ladder weave. I think this one might work out better. I'm gonna do a three and one. That way it'll stay more uniformed with this. And yeah, you can bring these out a little to be careful. You don't want to over bend, and, but it'll help your weaving be a little bit easier. So three wraps around one wire, one wrap around both wires, three wraps around one base wire, one full wrap around both base wires. Bring your wire through the center. Wrap three times around your base wire. When you cut your weaving wire, always make sure you have enough so you're using one wire. And when you create a piece, you want your wire to end up in a position where it's not going to cross all over the place in order to meet its next task. Like this, it started out right where I wanted it to. One, two, three. Full wrap around both. One, two, three, four wraps so far. We'll probably do about, I don't know, ten. One. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That makes nine. We'll stop at ten and see how close we are. Um, yeah, that's good. Right there. It's ten wraps. And your last one, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is ten. Ten rotations. And then that, I'm going to wrap this three times. Two, three.
nice and tight. Right like that. These come out. Uh, not much of an angle, just enough to get one that'll be center. Should bend anyway. <laughs> there we go. It looks like those two are center, so keeping it uniform, but I'm going to go up one more. Two, one, and two. I'm going to keep it like that. Hold it tight. Don't let it go. Bring these straight to follow this. Like that. And this is pretty much done with. So hold tight and just bend it over the back. So now you got the leg part of your peace sign. And we're going to leave a bead in there. See the way? But it first, um, we can make a different design with this. You know, not everything has to be exactly like these. And this one ended up just a little bigger too. So um, maybe not 20 weaves with this. Maybe it would be better to do 15. Um, and then we'll get the uh, two inch pendant, not a three inch pendant. This is pretty big. Um, yeah, well, one and a half. I guess it's not too big. Anyways, let's keep going. I'm going to uh, clip these, get them out of my way. And I'll tighten them down. I'm going to give it about. From the bottom, I'm going to give it about a centimeter and cut. to the outside and I'm gonna ray wrap it right around all the way around There we go. This came out pretty good. Let's keep going. This is supposed to be towards the back, so let's bring it towards the back. Now, I want to put a stone in there, I think. So let's think about that for a minute. One moment. All right, I'm back. Um, we're going to work with uh, these two next. The ones in the back. I'm going to fold them down. Maybe.
kind of lined up with the back. Here we have our two bends for the back. What these will do, if you flip your piece over, what these two are going to do, come together, we wrap them together back here using this wire, and then they're going to come up straight up, and that'll be, that's this part of your stone. Let's get we want that to be attached. We don't want it flimsing all over the place. So I'm gonna go around. We want it to be nice looking, so make sure it's nice looking. I'm going to do this three times. Nice and tight. And that's three. One more time and I attach the stone. I'm going to try something a little different. Might not work out sitting around the back wires. I might need the width of the uh, separated wires. But let's see. Yeah. Again, keep it tight. I'm going to straighten this out. These the drill holes in these are uneven and uh, can't always get the wire all the way through with these stones. I go through a lot. But and I'm blind. See, that's going to sit much better. Put your wire, your stone on your wire, hold it in position, and get your wire, wrapping wire through. Just like that. I'm going to wrap around this. With, if I was using 28 gauge, I would go through the stone twice. Um, but the 26 gauge won't go through the hole twice. It's going to wrap three times around the base wire for security. If I bring that under, it's going to look a little funky. But I kind of have to because I want to rewrap continue forward with those. In the meantime, we've got this so far. Pretty nice, huh? Now I'm going to complete the wrap for these. Keep it uniform looking. Making <laughs> sure I'm going the right way. All right, five, one, five, one. Bring my wire back through. Get 
it up as high as possible. Nice and tight. I'm going to wrap one, two, three, four, five, around both of them once. I'm going to stop right there because I don't want the weave to show coming up around the front. And the reason why I had wrapped this when it keeps it nice and sturdy. Um, and I know it's not going to really be visible from the front, but if it flips over, you have it's it's appealing more appealing <laughs> than just wire is bent all over the place so with that said let's bend these up one at a time straight up over the stone straight up just like that hold there and bring it over just like that that's too big. Um, we can make it so that it can wrap around this and come around again, but I don't like that look. So I'm going to keep going like that. These are too big. I'm going to cut that a little bit. Ooh. Everything's so far away. Right down and roll it around just like that. Same with this. Straight to the back. And there we have, you probably didn't see any of that, did you? Now we can cut these and um, fasten them, tighten them down. Just going to make a little bit, enough to roll over. It's 18 gauge, so leave yourself a couple centimeters or millimeters. Oopsie. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to put in. This is too tall. I'm just going to pinch them closed. Like so. And then this one.
I'm gonna make sure they're lined up so when you look at the front you're not seeing them you're just seeing the rest of that get it good and snug that looks good so from here down is done now for the bail gonna give it a little crisscross like that stone there if you wanted bring it straight up again it's a bit different for a bale like so you can either leave it like this stone but I'm gonna leave it just like that I am gonna bind this together so because I'm done with this it's about all the wire I'm gonna need for it I'm gonna clip it all right here's a word of advice some people will take their wire and just wiggle it and let it snap off that's not a good idea. It really leaves um, very sharp, jagged edges, and you might be too close to uh, the wire you're breaking it off from, and you're not going to be able to really get it out of the way of um, scratching or hurting anybody. So you, you don't want to do that. You want to cut them. You want to know where they ended up. I'm going to poke that down so it's not hurting anybody. And I'm good. All right. I'm going to bind that using the wire I just clipped. Let's get rid of this piece too while we're at it. And that's going to slide right underneath in between those. Hold on. You can't see a thing. this going to wrap twice it's getting dark <laughs> Gonna finish this wire off, wrapping this up.
actually want a little bit more left so you can anchor this down so it's not going to be very big cut this piece off nice and snug because it's going to be the inside of the bale it won't really catch on anything but you still want to make sure it's nice and tight now for this I'm just going to bring it down Just like that. That's it. Yeah, we could finish this off, but let's just cut it like this. Get that inside. Nice and tight. And then bring these down a little bit more so you're not seeing so much of the wire without the wrap. Yeah, it looks a lot better. separate them so that they're matching up with your front view like so cut leaving about a centimeter And we're going to bring these right through and up. Straighten it out a bit. Or not, I'm going to leave it just like I'm clamping it to keep it uniformed. And there you have it. Your peace sign is done. A few adjustments if you want. You can uh, oxidize. But that's that. What do you think? Look at how much bigger it is. Thanks for watching. Um, if you learned anything or we're able to complete this project click the subscribe button share with friends if you want to um, but do make them 
let's uh, let's enjoy some peace together. What do you say? Have a great day. Thanks for watching.